Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. If you need a data for your research, I will provide customized data as per your research requirements. Contact me through email or WhatsApp. In this video, we will discuss about Q square that is predictive relevance. Q square value explains how well a model can make prediction or forecast about the dependent variable using the given independent variables. For example, let us see this model. In this model, we have one dependent variable and two independent variables. Dependent variable is adoption of mobile technology and independent variables are perceived advantage and technological support. And if we get Q square value less than zero, model has no predictive relevance. If this Q square value is between 0 0.02 to 0 0.15, small predictive relevance. And if the value is between 0 0.15 to 0 0.35, medium predictive relevance. If the Q square value is greater than 0 0.35, large predictive relevance. Now we will do the same analysis using Smart PLS and we will discuss further. In Smart PLS, we have the model. Okay, To do this, uh, to find this Q square value, you must go to calculations. In calculations, we have this blind folding. Once you select a by blind folding, in this you can select the omission distance as 7. This is a default one. Select start calculation and here in the final results, you will be having construct cross validity redundancy. If you select this one, you will have here the Q square value. In this case, it is 0 0.388. Now, Q square value of 0 0.388 tells that the model is doing a fairly good job of predicting the adoption of mobile technology using perceived advantages and technological support as predictors. It means the model has moderate to strong predictors relevance. Thank you.